Good day everyone, my name is Alan and I'm the workshop manager at ADW Trucks with one of our main specialized services being the fitment and sales of injectors and copper tubes. In this brief documentary, I'm going to demonstrate the removal and installation of copper tubes and injectors on the following brands and engine types. Before I start the demonstration, it is important to wear all the necessary PPEs and follow all safety precautions in your working environment. This task should be performed by a qualified artisan or under the supervision of a qualified artisan. When replacing injectors, it is important that the copper tubes be replaced as well. Drain coolant from the truck. Before one can remove the injector, one needs to loosen the injector hold down. If it is the Lucas type injector, then one will place the pry bar under the solenoid of the injector and pry it out. If it is the Delphi type injector, then do not pry it under the connector plug as this will result in damage to the injector, but instead pry it out between the cylinder head and the hold down. Once the injector is removed, the copper tube will be exposed. You will need a special tool to remove the copper tube, but you can also easily make one. And this is what it looks like. It's basically a sliding hammer made with an eight millimeter bolt. Screw the, the tool into the copper tube, a good six or seven revolutions, and then hammer it out. Using a drill mounted wire brush, clean the surface of the area on the cylinder head where the copper tube fits. Ensure that all rubber O-rings are well lubricated with grease as this will prevent damage in the fitment period. Before fitment, use compressed air to blow out all the injector holes. Hold the injector upside down, take the injector hole down, put it into the injector groove, take your copper tube, place it on top of the injector, add an even bead of Loctite to the copper tube, as this will ensure a better sealing onto the cylinder head. And in one movement, place it into the hole in the cylinder head. Insert the hold down bolt and tighten with the ratchet. In the beginning it will be reasonably easy until a certain point where it will become more difficult for about three to four re revolutions. This is when you actually press the copper tube into its position where it sits on the cylinder head. Right, there we've bottomed, loosen. Just one turn is necessary. Pick up the torque wrench, um, adjust it to manufacturer specifications and torque the bolt. We offer a one year, 100,000 kilometer warranty on our workmanship on all our service exchange recon injectors. On condition that a chassis mounted water separator system is fitted to the vehicle, which is also available from us. If you have any queries, please feel free to contact me during business hours. Thank you. My name is Alan.